Hi, so this is your April reading. This one is for Aries, and it's for if you're Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Now we're going to look at what is your general lesson in April, like what are you learning? We're going to talk about money and career, your love life, other people in general, whether that's siblings, coworkers, friends, randoms, um, your emotional self, and then I'm going to talk about your crystal of the month. So let's get started. Aries. In general, what is April's lesson or area of focus? And we're getting integrity is the thing. Demonstrating the truth and honesty of your soul and the manifesting love into all situations with every action. So um, I don't know if you've ever seen the video that I have on the playlist for everyone about, it used to be a Patreon thing. Um, so it's about uh, raising your vibration through the power of love, like this energy that changes your mood, okay? Where you walk around and it's just like random things. I love it. I love it. Because our psychology follows our physiology, right? So if we're smiling all the time, like we naturally just feel better, okay? You can psych yourself out into like a more loving and genuine vibration and therefore bringing in the things that you want through the law of attraction. So if you haven't seen that video, um, look at the playlist here on my YouTube channel and watch that because it'll be very, very helpful for you in the month of April if it's not easy for you to manifest love into all situations. A gratitude journal would also be helpful, things like that, okay? Now, looking at money and career, what do we have going on? Oh, so this is a tricky energy, so it's not going to be the same for everyone. For some people, you're going out there making the right contacts, um, talking to people. For some of you, it's that's not easy. That's a challenge <laughs> in order to get the things that you want or the things that you're thinking about to launch your ideas and stuff like that. For, for a lot of you, it's like the way that you've done things in the past isn't working anymore. So if there was like a certain way that you ran your business, for example, um, we need to change with the times, right? Um, maybe the way that you used to market something, it's no longer effective. Or perhaps the way you used to pitch a certain kind of sale to somebody, that no longer works. Okay, things like that. The way that you used to do things doesn't work anymore. So what they're saying is big changes need to happen. And as you um, think about these changes and you're making the right contacts, that all of a sudden, wonderful new things are going to come through for you. It'll be a blessing to let those old things die, to let the uh, way of the past kind of just like go away, all right? Now, in regards to your love life, what's happening? And they're like, oh, your love life, it's not fair. <laughs> it totally isn't fair. Um, especially if you're trying to bring somebody back from the past. If you're like, you know what? I'm going to give you another try. But if you fuck it up, like, I will kill you. Um, it's, it's that kind of an energy. But the thing is, is it's like, why are you giving them another chance, right? If they haven't been fair to you in the past, then they're probably not going to be fair to you now. And so what they're saying here is it's really not all that deep. The thing is, is that you're somehow pushing opportunities from love away. Like spirit's trying to throw you a love bone here. And you just don't even see it because you don't want to see it. And so by going back and like I was saying, watching that, um, I think it's called, I think the video might be called Hyperspeed Method to Raise Your Vibration. By doing things like that, all of a sudden you might be a little bit more open to receiving the love that spirit is trying to hand to you here. Like you remember that image? He's sitting against the tree and he's got his arms crossed. He's like, I don't want it. And spirit's like, here. Have this love. Have this new person in your life. Or bring more love into your relationship. And you're like, nope, I don't want to change. I don't want that. I don't want it. I don't want it. So you can't sit there and bitch that like your love life isn't perfect when these opportunities are coming through. Because even if you're coupled, it, there like might be opportunities throughout the day to appreciate your partner. To be like, you know what? Like, it's totally basic. Like, we both know it's your job to shovel the driveway if it's snowing, right? Like, that's just like the unspoken rule. But like the opportunity to say, hey, you know what? I'm so appreciative that you always do that. Like, you're so wonderful. <laughs> you, you might not be taking those opportunities to grow and build more love between you and your partner, or if potentially Spirit's trying to give you a new person if you're single, and you're just like, mm, don't want it. 
don't want it. I don't, I'm not even going to pay attention. I'm not even going to see. Like, so, you know, if you're somewhere, you might be like looking at your phone instead of looking around the room and there's somebody staring right at you, kind of a deal, right? Like you're in the same place at the same time. For example, the Archangel Thelio might have put you together, but you're not paying attention. So therefore you're not receiving it. Make sense? Okay. Other people, how are other people going to be affecting you in April, and it's like they really aren't. And so if you're suspicious that other people are talking about you or that they're plotting against you or, you know, whatever, they're like, that's actually not the case. You just stay focused on you and go get what you want to get. Anything that anybody else has to say, like their opinions, they actually don't matter, okay? Especially people that you think are loyal to you, people that you think are, um, you know, on the attack, they're actually not, and it really doesn't matter. You do you. Trust your gut instincts and do what feels right for you. This is going to be a very um, intuitive month where you have to go with the flow as to what you think and um, feel inside yourself and other people, they don't matter. Um, so in regards to your emotional self, what do we have here? And they're like, you're not making a lot of decisions or choices regarding your own emotional path. Um, you're a little bit clear about what you don't want, but you have a hard time letting go of the things that you don't want. So that's an area that you could work on. They're saying ultimately um, this month is not so much thinking about the future. You might not be getting enough sleep. And so if you were to get more sleep, that would be helpful. But you just are like in this place where you don't want to have to make decisions at all. Um, not at all, not at all, not at all. But what they're saying is, so they have like, actually, I think that was six cards in a row saying, you don't want to make decisions. <laughs> you don't want to go within and examine like from an emotional point of view, why you're in the place that you're in and how to better your life. You just fucking don't. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are less Aries people watching tarot readings this month than in months previous. But what they're saying is if you can come to, um, if you can end that cycle if you can just decide, you know what, I am going to do like the, uh, what's that girl's name? Mel Robbins, where she has the um, five second rule, where you just count down, you go five, four, three, two, one. And you just, in, in your life, you make a series of uh, split decisions like this, five seconds, and um, start changing your life, you know, then that would be good. But unless you do that, you're going to feel unlucky into May. So ultimately, that's your choice. So that being said... Your crystal of the month is called Bloodstone, which is interesting, right? Because it doesn't look very bloody. It's green. <laughs> anyway, uh, why am I telling you this and why should you give a shit? Well, because it's all about chakra healing and balance and stuff like that. It helps you to be more intuitive. It'll help you to adjust to unusual circumstances. It's going to help you feel... Like, um, it gets rid of all of these energies of like aggressiveness or impatience, things like that. And it's actually going to remember how they were like, oh, you need to sleep more. But this is going to help you to get like an energy boost, regardless of how much you're sleeping. Like you're going to have more physical energy. You're going to have more mental energy, which is going to be important if you need to make these kind of decisions, right? Especially in regards to career and things like that when it's like okay we need to adjust to this new situation so it helps you with organization with project completion um creativity so many things there's like a bajillion things more you can find out more about it at my website but get yourself a bloodstone if you're a crystal person because it's going to be really helpful and especially one like this that is polished um a lot of people just put them in their bra if you're a female uh or if you're a male that wears a bra, whatever, no judgment. But point is, um, then it's close to your heart chakra, okay? So it's going to be working for you all day. So that would be helpful, right? Okay, love and light. See you soon. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!